Well, we can expect to see the new 2025 sixth generation 4Runner on April 9th. Toyota gave us two more teasers today for this new upcoming 4Runner. Let's take a look and break them down. So the first one they teased guys is this over on their Instagram. They gave us a short little reel of the rear window going down. This is an absolute staple to the 4Runner nameplate. It has been here since the first generation of 4Runner. They kept it. Put your pitchforks away. We don't need a riot. They kept it and they also revealed to us that on April 9th, we will be seeing the reveal of this new sixth generation 4Runner. Now, the second bit of this teaser was over on the Toyota Newsroom. So if you guys go over to Toyota's Newsroom site, go ahead and click on this one. We have a nice still image of the 4Runner that we will break down. It says fresh air for your wild side in the next generation 4Runner, April 4th. 2024 and we have this photo of the rear end of the forerunner right here which states plano texas april 4th 2024 a window to bigger worlds and adventures is just around the corner stay tuned for more so we have the photo downloaded guys i'd like to break down these teasers for you all but first thing to notice is again it's either a heritage blue or cavalry blue i'm pretty sure it's heritage blue but my gosh does this just look like an evolution of the 4Runner behind me? The rear window looks exactly the same. It looks so awesome. And we have the spoiler right here, which the windshield wiper or the rear glass wiper is gonna be tucked up underneath. You have the same shark fin antenna up top, updated kind of roof rails too. Again, just an evolution of this 4Runner behind me. Uh, gloss black right here on the back of the windows. But one thing to really notice and I was kind of worried about this, guys, is the interior is a carbon copy of the Tacoma. A little bit of a letdown if I'm being completely honest, but I do enjoy the interior of the Tacoma. It's very solid. It's spacious for what the Tacoma is. Nice big 14-inch screen right here, but I could just tell that it's the Tacoma, just the way that the dash comes down, and, and maybe Toyota's hiding something. Maybe the center console down here will be a little bit different, but just the way that it comes over, this looks exactly like my Tacoma uh, that I have. Uh, the start button right here, this kind of uh, like a little grab handle that's on the A pillar and stuff. This The volume dial being right in the middle. So I wouldn't be surprised if the inside of this 4Runner is a carbon copy of the Tacoma, kind of like how the Sequoia is to the Tundra. Now down below, it's a little bit hard to see, but these are our taillights. Those are easy to see. Uh, but what we can see here is this traditional kind of just like little thing that's been above your license plate. So this is where the rear hatch handle is gonna be on the 4Runner. It says Toyota across. Now they've had that say 4Runner in previous models. The 4Runner behind me, it says 4Runner right there. But other generations of 4Runner, it said Toyota here. So this is a very 4Runner-esque kind of design cue to have right here. And you can see that we have the keyless entry for the up and down window right there on it with the little dials right there. So I mean, this at least they kept. And it's not gonna say 4Runner up there because from the original teaser photo that we have right here, it does say 4Runner down at the bottom, which a lot of people has, have expressed that they are not the biggest fans of how this looks. Again, we're gonna have to see this in person to really kind of get the vibes of how this looks down here. I may just debadge my 4Runner and put like a 4Runner badge over on the right or the left hand side. Let me know if you guys see anything else. It's kind of strange they kept this little window uh, over here, this side near right, and you could see the camera. This thing will most likely have a very nice uh, 360 camera view with that updated screen. The seats look exactly like the Tacoma seats. They're almost like a uh, kind of a caramel coffee color they kind of look like. So, I mean, this is most likely a limited, and also like the silver down here, it, it's either a limited or it is a um, TRD off-road premium maybe. So we'll have to see on April 9th when I get to showcase this for you guys. But so many people, man, were just worried that the rear window was going away. And I was always team, it has to stay or we riot. Every video that I talked about, I said, no guys, I, I think that the rear window is gonna stay and check it out. <laughs> it is here and everyone is happy. And holy crap, dude, this blue on this 4Runner just looks so good. I absolutely love the blue uh, on my 4Runner that I have behind me. These uh, tail lights, they look nice. So, I mean, 
they're uh, they're different than the the Tacoma and I guess also these hips too now that we're looking at these tail lights here these hips look very wide just like the Tacoma the, my, my Tacoma has super wide hips to it and uh, it looks like the forerunner is just going to be super aggressive uh, looking for uh, off-road and also it's mall crawling I like the kind of texture that it has right here too uh, they actually kind of have some texture up top as well so i i think i just need to get over the riding down here these are the only things is is the riding i need to get over maybe it'll look better in person and also the fact that it's just the carbon copy interior of the tacoma i hope it has more soft touch materials versus the tacoma because the tacoma even mine at fifty three thousand dollars is is very plasticky on the inside um so i i really hope that the forerunner uh, has a little bit more and and the next thing we have to manifest is it being made in Japan So uh, that's the next thing that we have to manifest guys uh, Size wise, I mean it, it should be the same as the Tacoma Maybe hopefully a little bit wider maybe more of a Land Cruiser because this photo it, it makes it look pretty wide But aside from that what do you all think I am beyond excited about this new Forerunner. I, I'm, I've been a Forerunner lover forever. I freaking love my fifth gen, but I get to reveal it to you guys on April 9th. I will be getting video of the Forerunner as much as I possibly can with my short little time frame that I have with this video, uh, with this vehicle. And then later that night or the next day will be the uh, official reveal of the vehicle as well. And I'll be live streaming most likely here on YouTube, uh, showcasing the vehicle, tons of stuff over on Instagram and TikTok as well. I mean, it's just gonna be, we've been waiting 15 years. We've been waiting 15 years for this uh, Forerunner, so it's just gonna be a bombardment <laughs> of Forerunner content. But guys, I appreciate you all watching, and I will catch you in the next one. All right, see you later.